What is so good about Good Friday? Our Bible study group researched the origin of the word good on the darkest and most brutal day in history when we crucified Jesus. As far as we can say, the word good was used as a blessing, as in good morning or good day. The darkness of the horrific event was meant to be a blessing passed along to Christians as they commemorated the death of Jesus. I did not intend this to become a history lesson, but knowing how we got the name for Good Friday is interesting. While the crucifixion of Jesus was far from good, the outcome was glorious. I invite you to read Mark 15 21-41 for a biblical reference to the Good Friday event. While the depiction in Mark is gruesome, the goodness comes when we realize what the death of Jesus means for all of us. Because Jesus represented the ultimate sacrifice, we no longer had to sacrifice animals on our behalf. Jesus paid the price for our sins. We also see the veil of the curtain in the Temple of Jerusalem ripping in half. This symbolizes that whatever separated us from God is now accessible through Jesus. Our sins separated us from God, Jesus' death forgave us from sin and granted us access to God. This is my takeaway from Good Friday, my good friend. Jesus gave himself up for me. Jesus died to take away my sins. Jesus died to show me the way to eternal glory. Jesus did these things for me and all who believe, this is what is so good about Good Friday. What's so good about Good Friday? It is the path to glory. It was about 12 o'clock when the sun stopped shining and darkness covered the whole country until 3 o'clock. The curtain hanging in the temple was torn in two. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, in your hands I place my spirit. He said this and died. Luke 2 verses 34 to 46. Do not be afraid of death, dear heart. Death is not a finished product of life. Death is a transformational spiritual process. Death comes to all people from all nations in all time periods. I have gone into the valley of the shadow of death before you. I have recreated the pit of everlasting death and despair into a passage to life in glory. Death reveals what was hidden beneath the veil of the human body. The spiritual you that now exists will travel on into eternal glory. The cross has shed its danger to all who come to me, I have gone before you so that you will know how that leads you to my side. Death carries no sting for you, my child, and I left the sting of death on the cross to purge you of any pain. Do not be afraid. I am by your side to comfort you and guide you. When your time is ready, I will walk with you into the heavenly world. Take my hand, I will never let go of you. The good Saviour was born unto you in the city of David to show you that I exist and I dwell with my beloved children. The Holy Messiah brought forth the message of my love and showed you how to live a godly life on this earthly plane. The Saviour died on the cross to show you the way through the shadow of the valley of death, so you would fear no evil. The goodness of the Friday death is, but a holy finger pointing toward Easter's triumph. You must understand that Jesus was not sacrificed upon the cross, he gladly took the path of death to show you the way to everlasting glory. God bless your journey through Holy Week with us, my friend. I am honored that you selected our devotional as a way to grow closer to God. Will you do one more thing for yourself and your spiritual journey? We are inviting all of our followers to read Mark 15 21-41 again. After reading the passage, please spend 33 minutes in reflection and prayer. That is one minute for each year that Jesus was on this earth. I would be honored if you let me close with a prayer, my friend. It is finished. You uttered these words from the cross on Good Friday, O Jesus. The prophecy that a Messiah would come to save God's people was fulfilled in your death, my Savior. It is finished. Your children needed no more sacrifices. Your death took away our sins. It is finished. The righteous judgment was issued, and God said, not guilty. It is finished. Your death made everything ready for the movement and realignment of the universe. It is finished. Death was defeated. It is finished. Forgiveness of sins and everlasting life were given to all of your children. It begins. Thank you, Father. You restored your people.
Bless you, Jesus, you showed us the way to eternal life. We honor you, O Holy Spirit, because Jesus sent you to be closer to us than hands and feet and more a part of us than life itself. Amen, and Amen. Go into this day knowing that the Spirit of God resides in you and will keep you closed during this Easter Vigil. We await the glorious resurrection of Jesus. Amen. Go in peace.